Officer Jim Street of the Los Angeles Police Department SWAT squad, together with his partner Brian Gamble, break into a bank that has been taken over by robbers. Gamble defies orders and confronts the thieves, inflicting injuries on one of the hostages. After successfully apprehending the offenders, he and Street are removed from the SWAT squad by LAPD Metropolitan Division Commanding Officer Captain Fuller. Street is reassigned to working at the police inventory when Fuller offers him the opportunity to rejoin the team by bringing up Gamble. Gamble leaves the force and breaks up with Street, thinking that the latter leaked information to him so he could continue working with SWAT. Six months later, Sergeant Daniel Hondo Harrelson, a veteran of the LAPD, is called in by the Chief of Police to rebuild the SWAT force. Despite Fuller's objections, Hondo shows interest in Street and hires him along with TJ McCabe, Chris Sanchez, Michael Boxer, and Deacon K. They become close as they train together and succeed in passing all of their tests. Following their celebration, Street and Gamble have a heated altercation. The group then completes their first successful mission, which involves using Street's wall-breaching battering ram to take down an unstable gunman. Alexander Montel, a French drug lord who took over his family's criminal enterprise by killing his father, kills his uncle for misappropriation when he arrives in Los Angeles. He is stopped by police for a broken taillight while driving his uncle's car to the airport. Because of inconsistencies with his fake ID, he is taken into custody and it is discovered that he is an international fugitive who is sought after by Interpol. Two sheriff's deputies are killed when Montel's friends, posing as LAPD police, try to break him out of jail. After arriving in time, Hondo's group kills the gunman and retakes Montel. Montel tells the cameras that he will give $100 million to anyone who can get him out, which attracts the interest of crooks all around the city as media crowd the team. The LAPD get ready to fly Montel into federal custody, but they can't get away in time before Gamble takes down the chopper. The cops launch a sizable convoy, which is assaulted by gang members only to reveal itself as a ruse for Hondo's group who drive two SUVs and transport Montel. It is revealed that McCabe is working with Gamble, who injures Boxer severely before making off with McCabe, Montel, and themselves to the underground. They take a subway car and run through the sewers while the SWAT squad follows them. After that, Fuller heads to Hawthorne Airport with all of his units to make sure Montel doesn't take off. When Hondo's group uses a limousine to get to the airport, they find out that Gamble is going to use a private jet to take the criminals out of the country, landing on the 6th Street Bridge. As the jet is about to take off, the SWAT team stops it. Gamble's men are dead, Sanchez is hurt, Kay apprehends Montel, and Hondo confronts McCabe, who ends his life. Street follows Gamble to the rail yard beneath the bridge where they engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat until Gamble is killed by being struck by a passing train. Montel is taken to federal jail by Hondo's crew after Fuller and the other members of the LAPD arrive. With encouragement from Street, Hondo prepares his crew in response to a report of an armed robbery that is underway while the group makes its way back to Los Angeles.